Welcome back to Floki's Models. So you guys remember in Star Wars Rebels when Ezra meets up with Captain Rex and Rex is living with Commander Wolf and Gregor and that surplus ATTE that they converted into Winnebago? Yeah, that's what we're making today. To start out, I 3D printed a Legion scale ATTE. I'll put a link down in the description for the files I used. Uh, Legion scale is 147th. I sand and use UV resin to get rid of the printing lines like in my previous builds. Using black CA glue from Bob Smith Industries, I attached the three main body segments. Now to start converting it into Captain Rex's Winnebago. I use cardstock to make templates first. I transfer the templates over to 0.75mm styrene sheet and then cut that out. This box that I'm making for the back is going to cover up the two rear guns. I'm using more 0.75mm styrene sheet to make the rear deck. And again I use a piece of cardstock first to make a template. This way I can get the correct shape I'm after. This then gets glued in under the box I just made. I'm making the back door here out of 0.5mm styrene sheet. I use a round needle file to round out the corners of the door frame. I then glue a piece of 0.5mm styrene sheet behind the door frame to make the door. There is a splinter shield on each side of the door that I'm also making with the 0.5mm styrene sheet. I use a sanding stick to round over all the corners on the splinter shield and the door frame. I found a piece of spare photo etch to use for the door window. This is all one piece of 0.75mm styrene sheet that I scored on the back side to be able to bend it into shape. Once I got the proper shape and the proper location, I glued it into place. The rear window, door, and splinter shields also get glued into place now. The two big beams under the rear deck are made from 0.1 by 0.25 inch styrene strips. I heat them up with a heat gun and bend them into the correct shape I'm after. It just takes a few seconds over the heat gun for the styrene to get pliable enough to bend into shape.
After I got them bent to the correct shape I'm after, I then glued them into place under the deck. There is a balcony area on each side of the deck. I made them also out of 0.75mm styrene sheet. There is what looks like a bay window on each side of the box. I made them out of storage boxes from a Dragon 251 half track, also adding styrene sheet to the bottom to close them up. I put the front deck in place using more of that 0.75mm styrene. I also used 1.5mm square styrene to get more area to glue the side decks to. The upper decks are CA glued into place. and the landing platform that is on top is glued into place. I also scored some panel lines into this plating as well. There was four ladders that I made by heating and bending one sixteenth inch styrene rod, and then adding crossbars to that. The two bracers next to the ladder are made from 1.5mm square styrene. The posts are all made from 2.4mm styrene too. The railing is made out of small gauge wire that I got at Radio Shack a long time ago when they was going out of business. I'm not really sure what the dimension of this wire is. Now it's time to get her on her own feet by gluing the legs in place. and time to head over to the spray booth. I had first primed everything with Krylon Black Primer, and then base coated with Tamiya XF55 Deck Tan, but I didn't get hardly any footage of this, and the footage I did get was pretty crappy. The front, rear, and top decks get painted Tamiya XF67 NATO Green. The decks and platforms, I'm trying to get a patchy look to them. All paint that I'm gonna be using is mixed 50-50, with Mr. Color Lovely Thinner. Parts of the landing platform and of the upper deck get painted X8 Lemon Yellow. Again, I'm trying to achieve a real patchy look here. The rest of the landing platform and parts of the front decking is painted XF18 medium blue. The areas that hold up the cranes are painted XF9 hall red. The main gun that Gregor converts into a fishing rod gets painted Tamiya XF-63 German Grey. One of the legs is a kind of a dark orange color, 
I achieved the shade that I was after by mixing 4 drops of Tamiya X6 Orange to 1 drop of Tamiya XF9 Hall Red. i to start on some of the detail painting, first using Vallejo Carmen Red. Ladders, reels, posts, crossbars, guide rails are all painted Vallejo light gray. Now my favorite part of any build, and that's the weathering. Using a piece of packing foam and Tamiya X11 Chrome Silver, I start to add chipping to the edges and corners. I know it's starting to look overdone, but further weathering will tone this down. My next step in weathering is going to be adding rust streaking. I'm going to be using MIG standard rust effects for this. I just dab some on, sometimes adding a little water and then just using an old rag, streak it downwards. This thing is a lot bigger than I had envisioned it to be. If I was to do it again, I would downscale it to probably 170 second scale. I can't fit this entire thing on the poster board I use for photos, so I'm sorry about that. I will revisit this build at a later date. I want to make a proper base for it, and also add the 14 yellow lanterns that hang off of it. I got a plan of using 3mm LEDs for the lanterns. I'm also not going to add any dust or pigment effects yet until I bake the base. That way I can make sure that everything ties together correctly. Well thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this build, and if so, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for many more builds to come.